Hey guys, I'm Johnny and welcome back to Johnny Plays Minecraft. This is episode 45 and today we're going to be working on the potion lab finally. In our little laboratory here we're going to actually have a potion lab which is really cool. I've been doing some good work in creative trying to work it out and it's going to be awesome. But first of all let's go through the design here that I ended up with for the laboratory here or our uh, science labs. Um, so in here you may notice a few differences. Uh, first thing is the glass is gone. By the end of the time I recorded the last, uh, the end of the episode, or last episode, um, I forgot that this didn't have to be a glass block, so I changed it over. It's now a regular, uh, block like the rest of it, and it looks so much better. Um, as for lighting, I've chucked in a glowstone bit here with some grey glass on top, which I think is cool because when you stand here, you don't really notice it too much unless you look out for it, um, which is really cool. Um... Apart from that, I haven't done too much more in the area here. I fixed the roof up, got that all in, and I changed this room's design around as well, as you may notice. And uh, I like it a lot more like this rather than the rings that we had before. And uh, it's now blue, which is really cool. Um, so today we're going to be heading down to the end of here, where we're going to be chucking in the potion lab, which is going to go in right here. Um, it's going to be fully automatic up into the point where it's done brewing and then after it's done brewing um, it won't be automatic, we'll have to grab the potions out ourselves but um, let me just get my items here that we need to start with we're gonna start with just grabbing these out um, while I talk about and just thank you guys because I'm gonna thank you in this video as well because I'm not sure if all of you guys watch both the infinity uh, videos and my let's play so um, last episode we actually managed to get over a hundred likes on the episode, which is just crazy ridiculous. It's so amazing and the support lately on my videos guys has been amazing. It's been, it's been so crazy and I just wanted to thank you all for the continued support throughout the time of my channel and just like this, just all the support lately more than ever. It's just been crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for that, and uh, let's see if we can smash out another 50 to 60 likes on this video. It would be absolutely amazing. So, um, this is the design here I'm going with. So, the, in total there's 12 different potions, good and bad. Um, I'm going to be using this room to make all of them, just because I feel like, why not, you know? We, we might need a poison potion here or there, you never know what we can use it for. Um, and there's different other ones like weakness and slowness, slowness we could use here and there. Um, but right in the middle here is where we're going to be putting the brewing stand, which is going to go right there. And what's going to happen is there's going to be buttons, which I forgot to grab out, and there's going to be buttons under each one of these, like so. And when we press a button uh, for whatever potion, it's going to dispense the items, and they're going to come into this brewing stand here, and it's going to all potion it's brew itself up, and then we can just grab out the items as we please, which is going to be very, very awesome. So, we might as well get straight into the redstone here. Um, I'm going to try and do one of these on camera and then I can probably cut it and uh, do the others off camera because they're, they're made in sections of three and there's just four different sections of three. So they're all the same uh, throughout the design here. Um, and I'm going to try and use stone brick as my to put all the redstone on. So right behind the buttons here, the buttons are on this second block up. We're going to put redstone torches behind all them. So what that's going to do is every time we press a button, it's going to activate only one torch, which means we can control the signal a lot better that way. Um, we're then going to put three blocks of uh, stone brick with more torches on them, but down on the next level. We're going to be putting uh, redstone under these two outside ones, and then which will activate the, the torches in front, and then one up here for the middle one. So once again, that's just going to separate the lines of signal here so that they don't merge together. So when I press this button, that torch will turn on and the other way around um, for the other ones as well. So that's why uh, we've done that. And then the next, uh, for this bit, we just need to put three redstone here. So after this point, once it's split up here, um, we can join them together. Now, I'm not sure if I need to do that, but it's helpful to have it that way. It just makes it a lot clearer in my head. So continuing on, we're going to be putting three blocks up like um, up like this. Let me just grab out a few more blocks just so I can use them to pillar up as well. Um, so we're gonna go three more blocks up like this. And then from 
there. We need to just take these up so I can get up there. We're going to jump up onto... Oh, God dang. We're going to jump up onto here, and we're going to go three more torches on here. We're going to go more blocks on top of that. Three torches along the back on just on top of the uh, wall here, and the roof will the roof will be at this height here. This will be the the roof block there, so it's it's really hidden, which is great. Um, and then we're gonna go more blocks on top of that, and more torches, which will be the last torches we'll have to use. Um, the only reason that's done like this is I'm just carrying the signal up a lot higher, and the reason I'm carrying the signal up so high is just so that when the items dispense, they dispense to a perfect height for me. Um, down near the uh, brewing stand, which you guys will understand later or a bit later on when we get to that um, But we want to then fill in these three blocks here We need to put a block in the middle and we're gonna split the signal again So we're gonna have two repeaters going along like that um, And we're going to have a bit of redstone there with a block on top of this one So this torch here is going to power that repeater same on the other side and this torch here will power the block which will in turn power this bit of redstone. So the next step you want to do is we've got to try and get the droppers in and we need to place the droppers in upside down. That's very important that they are actually upside down and we need to place them out of the blocks um, below the where the redstone is. So on the blocks here, like as you can see where I'm putting them, uh, we need to get that out of there and let's place these along. So there's three for each one and this is going to hold things like, uh, for example, a health potion is going to hold glistening melon, glowstone and gunpowder and then for a speed potion will hold sugar, uh, glowstone, gunpowder, etc, etc. Um, and we can make them glowstone or we can make it um, redstone if we want to depending on what we want to do. Um, and then when we get back up here, at the top we just need to layer the tops of the dispense or the droppers with redstone like this and then just put some blocks going across like that to split the signals up again. Alright, so now that we've got the dispensing part of the uh, of the potions here, so this will de uh, decide which potion exactly we want, um, we're going to hook up the bottom part here which is going to do um, the nether wart. This this bottom section is just for the nether wart. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the redstone line matching up with the corner of this here. We're going to bring it out, and then for this uh, for this here, we need to go grab some more. Uh, we need to grab some more iron blocks just because you'll be able to see them behind here. So we need to make sure that it's all iron everywhere we can see. We need to put uh, two iron blocks like so. Um, we need to do a block there with a bit of redstone on it and a repeater going into it And we need to bring this signal just along so it matches like that and what this will do uh, This one here actually needs to be a repeater as well um, So what this will do is when we activate this this will power one of these signals Which will bring the redstone signal along here and it will power this bit of redstone this bit of redstone will power this block here and this block will power this dropper which is there which is going to shoot up into some hopper lines that we're going to install in just a little while all 12 buttons are hooked up all the four dispenser chambers are set up as well obviously <laughs> and they're all connected around here to the to, uh to the um Nether wart dispenser, which or nether wart dropper, whatever you want to say. Um, but the next step we need to do, guys, is we actually need to hook all this up to the actual brewing stand. So we actually we've got to start in the middle, don't we, to actually get it to go anywhere? Because otherwise, um, everything will be backwards. So um, I've got about 70 hoppers here. I think that'll just be too many. So I think we should be good. But the way we're going to do this, we're going to take this across. The top of this dropper here so the nether wart will get dispensed straight up into here and it'll get dispensed first so it should go straight down into the um into the brewing stand straight away the next thing we need to do is we need to bring it across i'm not going to be able to stand on these uh we're going to need to bring it across the back of the or across the back um dispensers or droppers and then we want to bring it out one more and we need to bring it along the back of here as well is that connected properly didn't think so that one there there we go uh, let's connect that into there um, we're going to bring it along here and then around the corner and then we need to take these out so we can keep it going this way like so um, and by the way the reason there's a gap um, Oh, which I'll set up in a second, but see the reason there's a gap there? If I have the hopper directly under the dropper, it'll just uh, take the items out uh, willy-nilly. So we've got to have a gap so they're actually going to drop them into the hopper, which should work fine for us. Um, 
Uh, so where were we up to? We're up to here. We need to bring this across this way as well and back across the back of these again. And then all we need to do is just for the rest of them, connect it up like so. And that should work. Um, so they'll all get dispensed. They should all get taken there. And the best bit about this design is if I put the glistening melon in here for a health potion, for example, glistening melon in that one, glowstone in this one, and then gunpowder in this one, when they get dispensed at the same time, when they go to the actual brewing stand, they'll all be in order, and it'll brew itself all in order, which is awesome, which is uh, one thing I really wanted from this design. Now, the last step is we need to actually block the side of that off, and we'll get up there just to double check everywhere it's blocked off, um, because what can happen is occasionally the blocks will jump out the side, so what we're going to do is we're going to block the front of this side off as well, so that none of the items get lost and they go where we want them to, instead of just falling onto the ground and we wasting items and not getting the potions we want so that's that now what we need to do is do that same thing to the other side as well hoppers in which is good uh, we need one more of these and we need to create oh actually we just break this chest we can use that instead uh, so we'll just pick all that up um, okay so we need one more chest in here um, and where we're going to put that is we need to get this last hopper here and this can go on either side it's not really a definite needed but I'm going to put this here like that with the um, hopper facing directly into the um, into the brewing stand there and we're going to put the chest on top and we're just going to try and fill in the blocks around that as best as we can as well and we'll fill this side in just with flat iron and then when we get around here we shouldn't not shouldn't be able to see anywhere which is good you can't see enough around the corner to see the lights and that's pretty much the design so from here what we need to do is this chest um, behind here which we can't actually see that block actually we'll put that back but this um, this chest here is gonna hold the water bottles and that will uh, should auto fill itself up every time we take potions out the water bottles will fill themselves in which is really cool um, so what I'm going to do now is we'll get we'll get all the potion stuff uh, items ready and we can do one last cool thing that I want to do we will be the potion master guys we are gonna have so many potions in here because of that witch farm we have like nearly all the items we need for like potion brewing we dive like all of them infinitely it's gonna be awesome uh, we're gonna be able to make as many as we want but um, I made a bit of a mistake here with my setup um, as some of the actual potions need five total items to get them to their full stage um, and a splash potion of course so um, for like potions like slowness or invisibility um, they take like something like nether wart and then the potion or oh, then the item that gets them their special ability and then like for example a slowness will go nether wart then sugar which will make it a speed potion and then a spider eye i believe it is um a fermented spider eye to make it the opposite of speed which is slowness and then redstone to make it the better slowness and then a splash potion to make it i mean a gunpowder to make it a splash potion so there's actually a few a one extra stage um that i didn't account for so i will need to um actually uh, extend these out one more block for a few of them but that shouldn't be too much it shouldn't cause me any issues um but I want to actually get around around here and onto this side first. Damn it, didn't make it. Because I want the good ones, the best ones, like I'm going to use the most probably on this wall. And I think I'm going to split it up with good potions this side, bad potions this side. So um, we're going to do that as well. So let me just try and get up here somewhere. We might go uh, just straight up here if we can. Let's just go like that. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So... This one here is the closest to the brewing stand, um, so we're going to put that one at this one as health potion. So we're going to put gunpowder in here. I'm going to fill all these up eventually. We're going to put gunpowder in there. We're going to put a glowstone in there, and we're going to put the uh, a glistening melon in there. And uh, I will fill these all up. I just need to get the items. I don't have all the items I need 
to make these run perfect just yet but this one next one here we're going to put in as speed potions um, which is going to be pretty cool um, as well so that's that one there and then in this side here which we can't actually reach all too well what we're going to do is we're just going to do that with the redstone um, so in this side we're going to put uh, magma cream is for fire resistance so we're gonna have fire resistance potions here we'll put uh, redstone in there and if we break that one there we'll put uh, gunpowder in that one and then we just layer these back up with the redstone hopefully I can pick this back up beautiful um, so that's them three there done now what we'll do is we'll actually test test them uh, I need to go get some glass bottles let me just take the shortcut by jumping down here um, another great thing is we have infinite uh, glass bottles as well which like I said, makes my life a lot easier. Um, so I'm just going to test one of them. I have an infinite water source not in here anymore. I got rid of it, didn't I? Oh god, not not planned. Uh, let me just quickly chuck one in here. This should do the job. Let's take that out of there. And we'll just get three uh, for now. Uh, that, I need to get three. There we go. Um, Let's let's also chuck this up here. That one's for the night vision, but let me do that. All right, so let's. This is our first uh, proper test with our system here. Uh, we need to grab. Oh, not prepared. We need to grab the nether ward as well because I haven't put that in yet either. Um, and this would stuff up our system. So where is nether ward? Uh, we have a bunch of it in here. Beautiful. Um, so let me just grab this out. Let's run over there now. And yeah, this is gonna be our first test. So if anything goes wrong here. I'm gonna look like a bit of a fool. So let's get in here. Let's go around the back and into this. So we're gonna put our nether wart into the nether wart dispenser. We'll put our glass bottles in here, which will automatically. Oh no, that's locking it. Um. Okay, we're going to need to change the air. We're going to need to change exactly where that is set up. See, this is why we test things, guys. Um. So what's happening is this redstone torch here is actually locking the. Uh, locking the um, the hopper there. So what we might even do just now while we're here testing is we might just chuck it onto there. For now, instead, I can come through later and fix up where all the iron blocks have to go. But if we do just cover that up like that and we'll just do that now. Um, I might even just put the chest here. I'm not too sure. Um, or I might bring another one, another hopper over under this one. I think might be a little bit better. But let's put them into there. Let's filter them into the system here. And they should be in there now. So that'll be all good. And then let's do our first test. So we're going to do a health potion. It's going to be our first test. So in here we should get the nether wart, which is perfect. That's what we want. And then if we check this top hopper, as you can see, in the perfect order we need them, we've got glistening melon, glowstone, and then gunpowder. So what's going to happen is this is going to fill, it's going to um, brew itself up. This will go through. It'll go through. These water bottles will turn into awkward potions now. Yes, beautiful. And then the glistening melon will filter straight in into that there, which is perfect. This is what we want. And then when the glistening melon goes into here the these other two items so the glistening melon will go down turn them into health potion the glowstone will go in that'll go down turn them into um health potions number two and then the gunpowder will come in and turn it down to health potions number two of splash which is going to be awesome so what i will do now is i'll quickly fill up the rest of these add an extra hop uh, uh, extra dropper into the system where we need to for invisibility and slowness and a few of the other ones as well and then when we come back we're going to be doing a very interesting and cool thing with these item frames all right guys the potions are all working now we've got the droppers in the back of here and one here as well it's completely working uh, there's one little issue I'm running into with the middle section um, how it's raised up one sometimes very rarely the items in here will get swapped around so I may get for example a golden carrot and then I might get gunpowder and then redstone or sometimes I'll get a redstone golden carrot and then gunpowder but it's very rare and if I'm standing here anyway I can quickly switch around and just make sure it's working but it's a little issue I may try and iron it out a little bit if I can maybe even drop the hoppers if it's possible um, 
But one thing I wanted to do, as you can see, I've kind of done the floor design here. I'm not sure if I like it. I think I might change it around a little bit. Um, and I think for the roof, we'll probably just do mainly iron blocks, something similar to this. Uh, we'll chuck a bit of special lining in. I'm going to do some maybe hidden lighting in here somewhere as well in the floor because uh, we've still got torches in here which you guys know I don't really want around the area if possible um, but one thing I really want to do with this place um, is because as you can kind of tell uh, when you look at these potions here you can't really tell which one's which and I don't really know myself which one's which um, and it's gonna get really confusing so what I want to do is something that I think should be pretty cool if we just grab that there and we head over to this anvil. We're gonna actually name it because if you see, when we walk up to these things here, nothing, but if we name it, and we can shorten the name too. So instead of splash potion of water breathing, we'll just go water breathing like so. And we'll just name it that. And if we chuck it back into the item frame now, when we hover over it, it actually shows us what potion it is or because we've named it that. So I think what I'm going to do is do that with each one and um, it only five levels per time, which is really good. But guys, I think that's just about all we've got time for today. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. As you guys know, it does help me out. If we could get 50 to 60 likes on this video, that would be awesome. And uh, be sure to leave me all your feedback in the comments. Tell me what you think of the potion room and any suggestions you have towards it, because you guys have great suggestions. Tell me what you think of the design in here too, and also what I did, how I fixed up the design in this room. And, um, yeah, anything else you want to let me know in the comments as well. But apart from that, guys, I hope you did enjoy. The series is coming along really nicely, and our base is becoming really, really awesome. We had just enough blocks to finish the roof, which is awesome. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!